calculating molecular formula from empirical formula in this lecture i will teach you to simple steps through which you can calculate molecular formula easily firstly let me teach you that what is empirical formula and what is molecular formula well empirical formula is the simplest formula and molecular formula is the actual formula for example if i ask you that what is the empirical formula and molecular formula of glucose your answer is simple we know that the actual formula of glucose is c6h12o6 this is the actual formula of glucose so this is the molecular formula of glucose now listen carefully we can divide the whole number of glucose by 6 let me repeat it we can divide the whole number of glucose by 6 I mean 6 of carbon by 6, 12 of hydrogen by 6 and 6 of oxygen by 6. I get CH2O. So this CH2O is the simplest formula of a glucose which we call empirical formula of a glucose. So the molecular formula of glucose is C6H12O6 and its empirical formula is CH2O. Thus remember that Empirical formula is the simplest formula of a compound and molecular formula is the actual formula of a compound. Now how can we calculate molecular formula from empirical formula? Consider this example. Calculate the molecular formula of a compound with the empirical formula CH and its molar mass is 78 g per mole. Well, I use two simple steps to calculate it. Firstly, I find the molar mass of empirical formula. Here, the empirical formula is given, which is CH. Now there is one atom of carbon and there is one atom of hydrogen. I add their respective atoms. We know that the molar mass of carbon is 12 and that of hydrogen is 1. I write 12 plus 1 and I get 13 gram per mole. So the molar mass of CH is 13 g per mole. Secondly, I find the ratio. To do so, I write N is equal to given mass by molar mass of empirical formula. Here, the given mass is 78 g per mole, and we have already calculated the molar mass of empirical formula, which is 13 g per mole. So I divide 78 by 13. I get n is equal to 6 hence the ratio between empirical formula and molecular formula is 6 now i write empirical formula which is ch and i multiply its whole number by 6 i get c6h6 thus the molecular formula of ch is c6h6 therefore using these two simple steps we can easily calculate the molecular formula of a compound from its empirical formula secondly let me teach you one difficult numerical calculate the molecular formula of a compound with the empirical formula p2o5 and its molar mass is 283.88 well i follow the two steps i find the molar mass of a empirical formula secondly i find the ratio Now the given empirical formula is P2O5 and I write it here. We can see that there are two atoms of phosphorus and five atoms of oxygen. I add them all. We know that the molar mass of phosphorus is 31 g and that of oxygen is 16 g. So I write 2 into 31 plus 5 into 16. After adding them I get 142 g per mole. Thus the molar mass of P2O5 is 142 g per mole. Secondly, I find the ratio. To do so, I write N is equal to given mass by molar mass of empirical formula. We know that the given mass is 283.88 and the molar mass of empirical formula which we have already calculated is 142 g per mole after calculation i get 1.99 which is approximately equal to 
So here, the ratio between empirical formula and molecular formula is 2. Now I write the empirical formula which is P2O5 and I multiply its whole number by 2. I get P4O10. Thus the molecular formula of P2O5 is P4O10. So remember these two easy steps through which we can easily calculate molecular formula from empirical formula. Lastly, let me teach you one bonus concept which is often asked in the MCQs. Remember that there are many compounds whose empirical formula and molecular formula are the same. For example, sulfuric acid, iron oxide, ammonia, methane and water. These all compounds have the same empirical formula and molecular formula. If you want to learn about calculating empirical formula, watch our lecture and its link is given in the description.